Hey, how are you going? It's Donna here and I thought it was time for a bit of an update on how my business is going. Um, I think last time I did an update, I believe I had found the type of people that I really wanted to help with my business and it was people who wanted to achieve their dream life. Now, I ended up changing that a bit but before I go there, I will mention that towards the end of last year, I did, you know, things did get pretty low. Um, I just felt like I was, I got, I was always getting constantly stuck. And I guess too, I was never really a person who went into the community, my online community and, and, um, connected with a lot of people or asked a lot of questions. I mean, I, 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 I asked the occasional question, but I never really got into the community that much. And anyway, so I just felt like I would, you know, make three or four steps forward and take maybe three steps back or sometimes four steps or I would say three steps forward, two steps back was how I was feeling as far as my business was concerned by the end of last year. And anyway, a course came up and it was called Master You and it was basically a course designed to help get your mindset right because believe me, your mindset is pretty important when it comes to creating a, an online business. So getting your mindset right and it also involved timeline therapy. Now I don't know if you know what timeline therapy is but I'll tell you now, it's a bloody miracle worker. Um, Timeline therapy is, I guess they describe it as a combination of hypnosis with NLP, neuro-linguistic programming. And basically what it does is it wipes your slate clean. So what can happen during your life, or, you know, at a very early age, stuff can happen, be it traumatic or not, it doesn't matter. But if it sparked an emotional response in you it that your initial response is kind of held in your subconscious and because it's on the inside you'll you'll keep attracting things that will spark that emotion so just say for instance there was a time when you were younger maybe you didn't get the attention you needed and you know it, it had you feeling sad and that sadness can lead to unworthiness and but anyway basically what happens is the, the 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 slate gets cleaned so you deal with anger guilt sadness hurt anger guilt sadness hurt and I always forget the other one but there's a fifth one there and basically um, timeline therapy helps to eliminate the initial emotional or emotional um, memory that your subconscious has of that and when you get rid of that su that on the subconscious level on the inside it means your subconscious isn't looking for more ways to to feel that emotion again so you're sort of getting rid of all of that and anyway you know I did this course to improve my business but timeline therapy let's just say I enjoyed drinking a lot of alcohol once a week I look back I was a binge drinker I'd, I'd binge drink once a week on a Saturday night to escape from work escape from life um I'm not drinking anymore when I did drink I would usually accompany that with a bit of bit of bit of a, a smoke um not the cigarette type <laughs> and now I don't smoke at all obviously I'm not drinking so the two were kind of combined and the biggest thing that's come out of it, and who would have thought starting an online business would ever have done this, but I've had an eating disorder since I was sort of 14, 15, started off as anorexia, turned, out, turned into binge eating and eventually led to bulimia. And I would say I was bulimic from the age of around 20 to a few months ago. Timeline therapy has need I say more? <laughs> it's it's um, amazing. So, and what I'm finding since doing this Master You course is 
I'm, you know, I feel so much better. I feel, I won't say childlike, but it kind of is because, yeah, I can't explain it, but I'm hoping this doesn't need to explain it because it's absolutely amazing. But anyways, so I did this master year course, timeline therapy, you know, and I'm, I'm feeling, it, it, it took, a, it takes a little while for it all to integrate, but I'd say I finished that course the end, it was January and February I did that course. What are we now? July, so February, March, April, May, June, July. I now feel like that timeline therapy for the past couple of months has really, you know, it's, I feel great anyway and as is within so is without and you start attracting and and so forth and anyway straight after that I ended up deciding to invest some money in a YouTube mastery course basically because I sort of reached a point where I did, where I was doing some advertising on YouTube and you've got to be able to look at a statistical platform to know how your ads are going to know whether to change things or you know, just check out the stats and I was at that, I, I just, I would open up this statistical platform and have absolutely no idea what I was doing. Um, yeah, I'd ask a little bit, but I hated, I hated the thought of opening this stat spreadsheet, like just did my head in. And I thought, now nah, I need to move past this because how am I ever going to operate a, a successful business if I can't read my stats and then decipher what I need to do about my ads, you know? So I did this course. It was fantastic. It helped. I'm, I'm now like 100% happy to open up the statistical platform now. I'm all good. I know what to do. Everything, you know, everything's fine and dandy. While I was doing this course, there was also help with um, mastering your script writing so that when you're making ads, you know, you've got to, got to write some scripts. And so that was really cool. And so I've come out of that. When did that finish? So that was March, April, May. So I think it finished the end of May. Yes, the end of May. So now June and July. So it's been about six weeks since I've just been heavily involved in doing these courses, obviously going through big changes in my life. Um, but I'm feeling really motivated. And I, was, I said at the start of the video how I kind of thought I had found the person that I wanted to help. I really wanted to help people who wanted to achieve their dream because the whole reason I'm still doing this is because I want to achieve my dream that I've had since I was a kid. And I ended up, and you know, every time I get to this point where I thought, yes, I want to help people who want to achieve a dream, I felt inspired, you know. But then I would look at other people that are doing ads in my online community and go, oh, their ads are working better and they talk a lot about how they don't like their jobs and, you know, maybe maybe I'm not doing this right. And so I thought, okay, well, let's go back to helping people who work a similar type of job to me and have had enough of working on call and having their personal time interrupted and so forth. So I... I went along that path for a while, but what I found was that as I went along that path, my ads were doing were perfor performing worse and worse and worse. Every time I put a new ad, it was just getting worse and worse and worse. And I just went, I got to one ad where I filmed it and just went, you know what, stuff this, I'm going to just film myself talking on the video and I'm going to put an ad out where I just bleh. And I ended up going on about living the dream life. And how, you know, quite often as we get older, we lose hope of ever, ever achieving it because, you know, you get to an age and maybe you haven't got the skills or, you know, you're in a job that's not going to provide you with the time you need to go out and enjoy the dream or the, or the money you need. Anyway, so I've come to this point now and I've just reached this point where that is really inspiring me again. And so I've just actually, I've actually just filmed, finished filming an ad not so long ago that I'm going to put out there. But the first ad that I did, the very ad lib one where I'm just talking, whatever's coming to mind, you know, it actually has done better than any other ad that I've done as far as, yeah. So it has shown me the path. It shows me what inspires me and it does. It inspires me to help people who have had a dream life or, you know, that they've wanted for quite some time and are giving up hope on achieving it. I love to help those people start an online business and um, 
work towards achieving that dream, give them that hope back. So that's where I'm at. I've, I was actually, I've actually gone back into some of the online ed- education too, and I've gone back to the basics again and sort of really delving deep into the person that I want to help. Because basically, if you want to start an online business, you really need to know who you want to help. You got to get definite. No matter who, no matter what your business is, it, if you're an online coach, you want to know the people that you're going to help. If you're going to promote products and services to people, you want to know the type of people you want to help with your products and services. Um, even if you want to sell physical products, you want to know exactly who are going, who are the people that will want this product because it's going to help them. You know, that it's really, really important. So it's always about the foundations, isn't it? Like it, it's always about the foundations. So anyway, that's where I'm at with my business and I'm feeling quite inspired and and that inspiration obviously then is motivation. And it's something I remember one of our um, educators talking to us about and it was like, well, firstly, you really, if you're going to start any sort of business, no matter what it is, online or physical business, you've got to be passionate about it because the last thing you want to do is build up a business and then not, not enjoy it. You've got to love it. And thinking about the dream life and helping people achieve their dream life, that to me is, I feel really passionate about that. So that's cool. And the other thing was the, the foundation of any business too is definitely knowing the people that you got to help and also just understanding that you don't just set up a business to make money you gotta if you're gonna start a business it's gotta be it's its sole purpose is to help people so anyway like I said that's that's where I'm at with my business thought I'd share it with you and um, feel free to make any comments or anything down below happy to hear from you otherwise enjoy the rest of your day evening night wherever it is on your side of the planet And I will see you again soon. Bye.